Most homeowners who've shopped for appliances will agree that finding a nice-looking, durable, and high-quality refrigerator for a decent price is a challenge, despite the plethora of options lining the aisles at the local big-box retailer. Likewise, those shopping three-row family crossovers are met with a similarly bewildering array of choices. The Chevrolet Traverse, which has been redesigned for 2018 has set itself up to be a go-to option for buyers in that segment. Like those non-automotive appliances, the Traverse is available across a broad swath of price points. The lineup spans from the basic L, which starts at a paltry $30,925, to the loaded and luxurious High Country, which crests the $53,000 mark, with five mid-range options in between. Of these, the LT Leather is the one General Motors expects will be the volume seller, the automotive equivalent to a Frigidaire side-by-side. -side. GM used to know a lot about refrigerators, too, having owned Frigidaire from 1919 until 1979. The front-drive Traverse uses the same 310-horsepower 3.6-liter V6 and 9-speed automatic as the all-wheel-drive High Country example we recently tested. The EPA rates the front driver at 18 miles per gallon city in 27 highway, versus 17 25 of a mile per gallon city, highway for the all-wheel drive version. On our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy test, the Chevy just missed its EPA mark with a still respectable 26 miles per gallon. The 3.6 liter V6 pulls strongly, and the low end power is handy around town. The 9-speed cycles smoothly through its gears, but stand on the throttle and the FWD Traverse exhibits distinct torque steer that's not present in the all-wheel drive version, although it is quicker to 60 mph by 0.2 second, nailing the mark in a fleet 6.3 seconds. In fact, the lighter front drive LT outperformed the luxed-up all-wheel drive version's acceleration times across the board, albeit slightly. In our 70 mph to zero emergency braking test, the two-wheel drive Traverse halted in 170 feet, 6 feet shorter than the all-wheel drive Traverse and 11 feet shorter than a front-wheel drive Honda Pilot. One thing that both Traverses shared was significant brake fade after six hard stops. Dynamically, the Traverse disguises its size quite well. Its steering is light but there is more feedback than you might expect from a large crossover's helm. The ride is refined, soaking up all but the harshest bumps without disturbing occupants, a plus for those with young children who are easily awakened. Even so, the Traverse is still a large family SUV, so driving enthusiasts shouldn't expect to be particularly entertained behind the wheel. Chevrolet's MyLink infotainment system plays on a large 8.0-inch touchscreen in the LT leather trim level, and it comes standard with navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The interface is easy to use while driving thanks to large, color-coded icons that are easily identified in the driver's peripheral vision. The software is quite responsive as well, registering an average menu-to-menu -menu response time of just 0.4 second in our testing. Also impressive are the Traverse's standard 7 USB ports strategically placed throughout the cabin and an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot. Everyone's mobile device can remain powered, connected, and pacifying.